let's have first few minutes to talk about uh, where you can download SciSpace. Uh, what's next? So uh, maybe major questions. Let's mention major questions we have. And then I'll do a brief demo. Uh, as we go, you can, or anyone can uh, let me know if we need to elaborate uh, very briefly at that point. So by the end of this, we're going to show you how uh, you can, several principles, what to, what to do and what sh you should not do uh, with size space. I guess there's a chat if you want to type your questions or, uh, or otherwise draw me attention, that's fine. Okay, so I'll let all the people in the waiting room in and I'll get started. Can you see my screen? Somehow let me know. Yes. <laughs> good, good. So let me start it from uh, a few web pages uh, where you can find the uh, useful. My homepage should be a good starting point. Uh, I guess you can see it here. Uh, site space is around here for download. And this is the site you download the latest version. We'll go there in a minute. So other things you might uh, need is from like research gate. So if you click on here, it, it will be this page. So in particular, the projects, there's a software site space. If you look at here, I post the uh, project log. That's the most uh, recent information I put here. And some of the screenshots. So if you want to uh, download, you can click on this one to download. So this is the page to download the latest version. Uh, you can take a look when was the, the last, most recent one version I uploaded uh, was uh, 11 hours ago. You can go to here, files. Uh, most recent ones I put expiration date. So you know, you can plan accordingly. So getting to this, Depends on your computer's um, operating system. So if you have Windows, I recommend you to use the .exe file. I'll explain a little bit more. Uh, the other files, uh, compress, zip, and 7z, they are the same thing. You can use on Windows also. You can use it uh, with other uh, systems like the Mac. So if you download this, uh, I assume you're using Windows. I'm, uh, I'm using Windows now. You can, can, can you see this one tab here? We download here. Uh, I'll put it in a folder. So here's the only file download. You don't need, really need to do anything uh, except you need to have Java, of course. So uh, let me start from here. So sometimes we see this, uh, there's a uh, Windows Defender said there's a, a, maybe a problem. Uh, let's take more of this uh, from unknown publisher. That's okay. Uh, I have tested this on a bunch of uh, virus detectors. Uh, th this is the only one that has a, a false alarm. So you can run anyway. So run anyway here, this is the button. But if you're really worried, you shouldn't do this. So this is the first time to download this. It will show you uh, is downloading some information here, some files needed. If you click OK, it will get you some demo projects. Yeah. Click OK a few times. Uh, someone has a question? 
Not yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me know. So I'll go to the waiting room period of time. I, I, I'm using this for the first time. Uh, let just make sure everyone can get in. Okay, so on this page, this is something probably important to read this. Uh, what is the build, the date of build? Uh, I Sometimes I add date without changing the version number. And also it tell you what kind of system uh, SiteSpace believes you're using. Uh, so expiration date here, that might be useful to look at. And Java, the version of your Java, where it is your Java, it, it can find it, that should be fine. So some of the files here, you, if you want to look at the details, the background, the reasons, and interpretation, you can suddenly click and go here. So then you have to uh, press the agree button uh, actually, agree doesn't collect anything right now. Uh, in the past, we collect some usage data, but now I turn it off, so uh, agree anyway. If you disagree, you, you have to stop here. There's nothing you can do about that. All right, so this is the first uh, page, and then you'll get to this uh, demo one. That's the terrorism. Uh, so. Let's take a look at the property. This is a, a project property. That's the most important things to configure. Uh, a few guidelines here. You can see uh, one, two, three, four, five, six fields are highlighted in some yellow orange background. Uh, you can take the default one if you, uh, for the first time, just try to get. Uh, this is uh, something useful. If you want to select all the nodes with uh, higher citations or higher uh, frequencies, you make this one higher. Uh, otherwise, you, you can make it zero or one. So the other one is uh, look back time. So how many, oh, this one is a little bit complex to explain. So when you make a, you have a paper, the paper cites references in the past. Some of the references are long time ago. So, so for example, 10 years ago. If you put number eight here, that means only the most recent eight years, uh, citations within eight years can be, uh, can be added to the later calculation. Otherwise, they will ignore. Uh, so for example, in this case, 10 years, uh, 10 years old reference will be ignored. If you want to include all of them, you want to change this to negative one. Similarly, for all the other fields, if you change to negative one, I will take the maximum, uh, whatever uh, information you have in your data, data set. So this is the percentage of nodes to label. It doesn't really matter. We can change it usually later. Uh, so this is the, uh, Another configuration sometimes make your graph looks beautiful. Different clusters are really separated from each other. So make, make a very small number. You can make it really, really small. Uh, but if you make zero, that will make a really different. Uh, that's different. You can see the result uh, later on. So all the other things you don't really have to change. Uh, some people using alias later on, you just need to make sure this one's on. Uh, apart from that, you can add some nodes to you uh, and then save this. So I, uh, let me just go back. So this is unlimited. I want to change it back. So let me see, last five years from the citing, citing year. Okay, so SiteSpace, uh, the, the, the strength or the uh, major focus is on the references, uh, especially called the document called citation analysis, which is a network of cited references. That's why the default is here. You can select others. Uh, let me uh, show you that later. So for now, everything looks uh, good. And here is the default G index. If you don't know what it is, uh, look up H index. And this G index is a kind of improvement over H index. 
So uh, let's press this go button. That, that should be all of it. Uh, sometimes if you don't know what is data, the range of your data, you can select something like the very, uh, very earlier, like the 83 and 110. So let's press this go button and see what happens. Nothing else you need to change at this point. Just get started. So as you can see here, there's some years are zero, which means your data set uh, didn't even cover those years. So SciSpace will rerun just to drop all the uh, zero time slices to make it, you know, especially the colors are um, better in this way. Essentially, you press that, just rerun, and then let's wait for the results. Okay, so here, look, here it says the nodes have a network of 555 nodes. They are cited references. Links are 1500. Uh, so here we have uh, this range here, 1990 to 2003, the qualified nodes are 1700. Uh, we can visualize or you can cancel and modify the parameters and come back here again. So this is a network, what does it look like? And you can have this uh, control panel, the window, uh, you can move this around. And we have this one here. This window. And also some people ask, uh, what if the black background is always there, something keep moving? Uh, if you see like this, I'm getting stable, you, you don't really need to wait. You can click this button here, the two bars, stop. Uh, it says stop the layout process. If you press that, it will stop here. So this one stopped. So typically from here, I add a new uh, feature so you can turn around this, rotate. Uh, so sometimes you have this vertical, you want to rotate this. Uh, just keep rotating to the right and just pick whatever position you're happy with. And also this one is getting fatter stretch uh, horizontally, so you can stretch them like this. And for this one, you can narrow them. Uh, you can rotate again and stretch and narrow. So with all these combinations, you can do many things. So now I'll stop here. Uh, so once you have this, next step is to run the clustering, this button. So click on this button, we'll find the clusters. You may wait a while to see the labels are showing you the clusters. And uh, for these clusters, the largest one starting from zero, the emergency position, and number one is smaller, number two is even smaller, and so on. So get like this. So with this one, you can uh, do a few things to analyze. Uh, this one, it could be useful to show the clusters membership. So if you click on this one, uh, it will show you different clusters in different. Okay, so maybe this is one, uh, one way to look at the other. So based on this, uh, you may see all the labels, uh, they have a background. You may change the background with this function here. Change the background for different types, for article type, for the cluster label type. So let's try the cluster labels. There's several ways. If you want to say change, I want to change it to purple, or it's a pink, or uh, yellow, you can do this. If you don't want this one, there's a trick here. You click on the RGB, change the alpha here, make it transparent. So let's do that. And then, so that's done. You can do the same thing for the background of the article, article, which means the node, the cited references. So suppose we, uh, let's see what, what color do we want. So maybe we just have a, transparent as well. So change the alpha and then finish from here. So uh, there's another feature here. You can add the, let's see, 
you can add some convex hull, which is uh, like this. And then you can change the the patterns and how you, you can do that with the side here. Let's see, do it again. Adding. So sometimes a combination uh, depends what you like. You can also remove the uh, change to another feature. So either fill, which is the current case, or border only. The, this is border only case. You can remove it by click on this one again. So remove it. Uh, you can click on this and get back to the color colored ones. So sometimes also useful feature is called uh, You want to move this away. So, if you if the class labels are in your way, you can use this slider uh, to hide it temporarily. Hide it uh, for cluster, not for cluster. For the node labels, you can hide node labels here. Uh, you can do some very quick uh, exploration. Just click on here, so it will show the. Let me see. Some of the links added in 1999, 1990, 2000, another one, two, and three. Do I hear a question? Still no. Okay. So 2003, that's the last one. If you go back, uh, it will restore to here. And so let me see anything else. From here, you can, okay, you can switch to turn this off and then run some burstness. You can run from here. Let me see. Oh, you can also run it from here. So uh, these are default. It will give you 14 first uh, cited references. So these are the 14 ones. Uh, the data set here is a uh, very old one. The new one, you will have a DOI a link. You can click on it and then you can get to the full text. So you can sort them in different order. Uh, you can go to a web page. You can save this web page. Uh, if you want to include it in your paper, and you can do that as well, or you take a screenshot. So you can sort by different things. So it says here, sort by duration, the first. How long? The longest one first, shortest one last. By the strength. So that's uh, this column, five on the top, 2.8 and the last. And uh, beginning of the year, this is the default. The earlier uh, ones on the top, the later ones at the bottom. So once you've done this, you can close it and you can go back here. So another thing I want to show you very quickly is how to do the uh, cluster exploration with uh, this. So before you do that, you first save the cluster information. Uh, after that, you can go here, cluster explorer. So I'll get this one hiding. So from here, uh, if you want to explore what is in the first uh, cluster, click on it. So this is the thing here, I'll move this one. Okay. And then you can, a uh, little bit out here design, you may think to sort this, you click on the first row of your data. So first row of the data frequency, you get frequency sorted, and then you sort by the burst. You see who is the highest the one with the highest burst of strength. And you can also sort by degree. So all these metrics have different uh, meanings. You, sometimes you find one is more useful than the other. Is the, uh, so I give you all the freedom. You, you choose whatever you like. So around here, you can see the most cited, for example, sort by this. Uh, most cited is uh, this one. It has a degree, it has a burst. Uh, then uh, hopefully that will give you some ideas. So if you unclick, things will back to blank. Uh, if you want to select second one, you can see the some titles uh, highlighted. So this is a good example. Number, uh, this is class number two. 
and show you the size of this uh, cellulose value. This one, the higher the better. Uh, it's more special, differentiate from others. And the average year is the average uh, year of publications for all the members in this cluster. So sometimes you may want to get the most recent cluster or uh, you can look at here. The label based on the LLR, that's a, a log likelihood ratio. That means this one is terrorist attack. So if you look at the list here, terrorist attack appears in multiple, uh, in the titles of multiple articles in here. So that's a common theme. Uh, so the LLR usually gives the unique theme. The, the LSI gives you the most common theme, but sometimes they overlap, sometimes other times they don't. So this is a quick way to, uh, to do this kind of exploration. So that gives you some ideas about it. Uh, anything else from here? Suppose we're interesting, for example, interesting this one, you can click on this, but also you can right click on here to get know the details. So this is citation. Uh, here, this is uh, what other people are citing this. So that's why it's called a citing article. If you click, you click on uh, each line, you get further information here. So further information I give you should be enough most of the time. Uh, in the more recent ones, uh, as I mentioned, the data is old. In the more recent, uh, more recent ones, you get a link. Click on the link, that's a, a DOI link, take you to the publisher's website. So uh, in the future version, there'll be a few more buttons, a few more tabs here, give you more information. For now, that should be, uh, useful here and then you can also have others some other options go to doi if you have one or the lanes if we're using lanes data you get a the lanes id you can also uh, look in here doing something uh, for example if you have two nodes you want to substitute one for another you can use this uh, so back here uh, you just be careful when you have this, you hold it, it will go with you, but uh, if you let it go, it's back to the original shape. So this is uh, uh, one, let's see if there's any other things I can show you quickly. Uh, so labels, so this is the size to show the size of these labels. And then you can change the color map. This is the default one. These are different sorts of color maps. And there's some reasons for these. Uh, you can explore some of them to see which one you like. So different kinds of things here. You have a question? Okay, so I think there's a, uh, let me see, there's another one. So uh, timeline view, you can go to timeline view. Uh, okay, another thing, uh, suggestion I think is important. Before, one, oh, once you have a, you're happy with this, you can save, you should save this, save visualization. So if you save this, uh, Stack it here now. Okay, I let's uh, wait. Something happened. I don't know, but there's no error. So this is window you can check. When you have any questions or problems, you check this window. Is there any error message shown here? You can let me know. I will figure out what was the problem. But here, uh, okay, just a slow computer. Okay, so the this file is useful. Once you save it, you can just go back and use Insight Space to open it again. Uh, you don't even have to have the original data files with you. Uh, you can re recover most of the options from here, but uh, not 100%. You may lose something uh, at very fine detail level, but 
generally speaking, it should be a good idea to save this so that you can easily recover what you what you need when you need it. Okay, so I'll save that. Another useful thing is to save the image. The image is a PNG 300 BPI is a uh, 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 there are several quick uh, shortcuts here. So you can have a background, I like the uh, you like the white background, you click on this. You like the black background, you click back here. And then you can try some of these. So for clustering, uh, those are the details. I'll, I'll leave it to future sessions. But I think for now, that's uh, that should be enough for us to get us some questions to start it or any uh, discussions. Hello. OK, hello. Uh, Dr. Chen, I'm interested. Uh, to drill down on what you call five words of knowledge. Uh, I think that's the connector uh, okay. between the two nodes. So can you please show me how I can uh, drill down, like uh, identify the article and how it connects to the nodes? Thank you. So you want to, you have a, maybe you can repeat your question. You but, want to explore one article? Oh, or? No, I, I, the pivot of knowledge in particular, what you call pivot of knowledge. I didn't quite follow you. Can you repeat that? Uh, uh, I, I wrote it in my chat, actually. Okay, the, the chat. Pivot of knowledge. Let me see what I can, how I can get to your chat window. Yeah, based on what you've said uh, in uh, the manual, the pivot of knowledge actually is uh, the link of, let's say, the cluster one to cluster two. So I'd like to explore that uh, pivot of knowledge. Okay, so I, I just gave the chat window. Let me go through that one by one. All right. Uh, how can I drill down the pivot of knowledge? How do I know the specific article? Okay, so uh, the Okay, so that's a great question. When this, let me see, when this network, you get that detail here, set, show, uh, let me show signature, maybe a window, the color, okay. Let me show. Okay, so this, uh, this is it. Uh, I call the signature here. You can tell the differences uh, in here. So to uh, to see the size, this is a five five five. Uh, I believe it's a three hundred as the threshold. If network is greater than three hundred, uh, it will turn off the automatic uh, calculating the the pivot the uh, between the centrality. So we need to manually calculate the centrality here. So calculate no centrality. Uh, so the reason turn it off may take a while. So let's get to uh, this number. So if you show here, I wonder if you can see that. So the the purple ring here uh, that gets your attention. This one should be the most interesting one in, because of the high between and centrality. So between one block here, there's a terrorist attack, the, the other one over there. So let me just move, let's go somewhere. So if you right click on here, right click on it, details, second tab. So these are the one, two, three, four, five. These five papers cited that uh, pivot article or turning points article. So you can click on here. So the title is that, and then you can get more detail. You can also go here. This is uh, from Web of Science. Uh, and if it's from other data source, it will be something like Scopus or other things. Did I answer your question?
Well, uh, is there a way I can find the specific article that those five are, uh, citing articles uh, refer to? Do you know the name of the author or? Yeah, I think, yeah, because you've shown the citing article, I want to see the cited article. Oh, you want to see the cited article? Yes, please. But if you click here, it says B A L K S J. That's the cited article. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jeff. And here's the number. You can also have export this, the whole thing. So let's do that. Uh, summarize table, network summarize table. And you can, where's the name of it? This is the author name. As I mentioned, you can sort this by click on here and that's BA, you can search like this, BA, BA, what's that, BA, LK, LK, that's, the, that's this one. So you can read in this way, uh, frequency cited five times, degree 22, <laughs> centrality 12, and belong to cluster two, half-life, three years. Uh, yeah, so th this is one way to do it. You can export this to R RIS format, and then with this, you can input to EndNode. Yeah, you can do that. So this one, how to restore this, you just let it go as you go. Yeah, so here's a circle here. Okay, any more questions? So anyone can enter in the chat, maybe that's easier for me to go through this. All right, so I see some yes, yes, no. Uh, that's good. So any other feedback or anything? Is this useful? Do map overlay, okay, good. Do map overlay. So, uh, yeah, I have uh, one question. Yeah. Uh, not sure if um, if you would have the time to cover it in <laughs> in this specific uh, session, but uh -huh. uh, let's say um, uh, I'm writing. I, I want to start writing an article about uh, time series uh -huh. and yeah okay <laughs> want to write an article about time series and want to create a state of the art uh -huh. so um, i know there's different tools like vos viewer there is also site space and, <laughs> and there are more yeah, um, yeah the data we could retrieve from different sources like uh, dimensions for instances and you just using dimensions would be already okay so let's say we get <coughs> data um, okay I can show you some of the dimensions uh, interface yeah I, I can show you that uh, using dimensions uh, for writing articles and I have several papers. You might take a look and how see how I describe it. Uh, the difference uh, between SciSpace and other tools. I think we have a, a theoretical foundation based on the uh, philosophical theories like a paradigm shift. Uh, so that's why the, the centrality there indicate the critical points along the path of evolution of a field. So that's, uh, I don't think that's uh, something specifically uh, supported in other software, but this is a uh, more specific things you have in your mind. Paradigm shift, where the key uh, focus of the paradigm, where's the boundary, how they change over time. So those are things that are really helpful, background information to help you explain what you see oh. here. So maybe I can go to that. Uh, here, this interface show you quickly. When, we, when you deal with different data sources, the data input export is here. Okay, I have a, see a question. Can you please share the video? I will do that. Uh, if I can get a video, I, I said select this on, so it will be 
data available here. And there are several sources. The database is local, uh, local host database. Uh, we can talk about that in the future. And the default Web of Science data, you can do some pre-processing. Uh, for example, remove duplicates. You can convert to different formats. You can generate some networks to uh, use in PIAC, uh, for example, and other software uh, they form formulate it in different ways. Uh, if you get data from Scopus, you need to do a conversion. Uh, if you follow the instructions here, it will convert. So sometimes the conversion, the rate is about 99% uh, because of the differences in cited reference format used by Scopus. So there's some effort in the matching, but not really possible for 100%, but this one should be good enough. So cross-ref is also possible, just follow the uh, instructions here. Dimensions, again, dimensions are two levels. One is a very basic level, oh, no, three levels. Uh, one is you search on dimension, export up to 50,000 records, and then bring it here to do the conversion. The other one is uh, you use the uh, interface here, the API, you do the uh, selection. Uh, one useful one is cascading which means you can search for this and take the first step. Once you finish the first step, uh, you can move on to uh, in two directions. One's forward citation expansion, the other one's backward citation expansion. So this will help you pick up all the uh, articles or references linked to your results. So those are uh, mentioned in or detailed in my paper publication. You can search the research gate. So if you have data uh, download from the lanes, and this is uh, probably the most flexible way to convert. Uh, as long as you have the data in CSV, you can map different columns to one of these fields, whatever you, you think it makes sense. For example, the IDs are all matched to some UT field. Uh, this is we use in the Web Science format as the base. Then the authors or inventors or anything about people, you can map them as an author to AU. You can also have something like the categories, WC, Web of Science category, or field of research in dimensions or any other like disciplines and other data sources. So, um, yeah, so if you get familiar uh, with this format CSV, they can trans, uh, translate or convert as many different sources as you like. So this is, I highly recommend you to take a look at this if you have your own data source. Thank you. Uh, I, uh, I didn't know about uh, the cascading citation expansion and mm. <coughs> didn't know that using it, I would need to go to dimensions and download from there because this does automatically if I'm if I'm not mistaken. That's right, yeah. So you can do this here in size space. And the waiting waiting is not because of size space, waiting is because dimensions ask us to wait for uh I don't remember how many how many times API calls can allow in a minute. So it may take time overnight. You let it run overnight. You can get your data the next day. So something like that. Thank you. So uh, let me see other overlay. Okay, is there a way to rename? Okay, uh, currently there's no name a, a way to rename cluster names. It's generated automatically. Uh, you, you currently you cannot change the name, but and it, I understand uh, you may want to do that. Uh, I'll think about that. Maybe add a feature that you can edit the name. Uh, but then each time you rerun it, you may end up with different names. So uh, I'll put this one on the to do or to think list. Uh, think about that. Thank you for that question. So for the overlay map is here, you have this overlay journal map overlays. And this one will work uh, 
the best is to work with the web of science data because of the cited reference field you, you have this so you can change the background to begin with change some background like to make it easier to see and select the file uh, so adding overlay adding overlay which means you you already download some data files and you select that data folder let's try the terrorism data we have about five minutes to try that so my computer is getting slow I, I wonder if it's because the zoom looks uh Okay, so we let me see other questions I have here from you. Okay. So I plan to organize some other okay, here's come. Uh Okay, so maybe I'll leave that uh, for the future sessions. So I plan to make some further uh, sessions uh, to discuss more detailed ways to analyze and maybe some uh, interpretations uh, along with the uh, specific goal that we want to publish uh, some systematic reviews of a field. So I guess uh, that's about all the time we have for today. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to use uh, any way to contact me. So let me get back to here. Uh, on this on this website, as you can hear, if you uh, you can see the blog, you can if you have any problems, here's ticket. You can put your ticket here. That means describe the problem you have. Uh, ideally, some screenshots or some sample data. Uh, I also have the uh, other things like Twitter or Facebook. You can also from uh, ResearchGate. They're all possible to get your message to me. Okay, so I guess that's uh, that's all we have. All right, so all the papers are here, and also you can see from the opening page of SciSpace, you can also get those information about what, what papers are should be read for the reading. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's stop here and I'll uh, let you know again uh, if we, we can run further sessions. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Uh, good day, good night. Likewise. Uh, thank, thank you, you everyone. Okay, great.